Well, uh, good evening, everybody. Um, I just thought I'd post um, a fairly uh, brief video on 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 an update how I am and um, and what I feel kind of comes next for us all. Um, first of all, I'd like to thank you all for being so understanding on my need to have um, a few weeks time out with no pressure, and uh, it it has helped a lot. Um, however, however, a big however, um, since we last met um, at St Andrews to talk about events, you know, with, um, with folks leaving and, and how my mental health um, uh, very badly declined, um, I, I am afraid to say that things have uh, declined very, very badly for me um, to the point where I'm not going to be going back to work for probably another six to nine weeks. Um, we've already haven't been off um, for about five weeks already. Uh, to make matters worse, I have um, on on several occasions um, completely lost my sp speech, and um, everything's got really bad with, with that. And I've even had some some meltdowns. Um, well, I've been out and about on a few occasions, um, which has been quite shocking to me. I've never, you know, I've never, I've never experienced this before. I had sincerely hoped that um, my health would have improved, my mental health, to the point where we'd be able to meet together uh, very soon. But sadly, I don't think this is the case just yet. I'm sorry. So I'm going to... Um, humbly suggest, and with a really, really heavy heart, that um, uh, that we kind of put off meeting together again until perhaps sometime um, in May, in mid-May. And then we could look at a church relaunch as the Lighthouse Family Church. It's very, it's very hard saying this. So in the meantime, I want to encourage you all to... Um, uh, where you can to attend another congregation for a while, just to keep in fellowship with the Lord and, and worship the Lord and keep the Sabbath and so on, as um, as my as my last priest talked about. Now I I understand that this is going to cause um, a, a many of us upset at this continued absence of us meeting together as a church family. Um, and I can assure you that this is not an action that I've taken lightly and I have agonised over this decision. I just, I, I just really have, I've really agonised over it. But unfortunately I can't, I find it very difficult to function in, in lots of ways. And it's quite difficult when you've got to lead the church and do all sorts of stuff as well, so... And this is the first time I've been down such a dark road, yet I know that there is hope at the end. So please pray for me that I can come through this time and please be assured of, of our love for you all. Um, if anybody wants to be able to talk us through a little bit, that's fine. And um, they can get in contact with me and, and I'll try my best to you know, to explain things. But, but don't give up on faith. Um, we're going to be... I possibly go into like a local church you know for a little bit just until I can I can heal up so I encourage you to do the same and anyway I'm sorry for having to speak to everybody by video this way but it's taken me several days to build up the courage to actually to um uh, uh, uh to be able to do this okay well be blessed and god bless and uh, um, speak to you soon. Um, you yeah, know, keep in contact with each other. Okay. God bless. Bye bye.